the governor of Ekiti State, Mr. Adele Fayoshe, and also, of course, the governor of uh, Taraba State, and a host of uh, other governors, the governor of Bayelsa State, are also there. And the man coming up to the podium is the governor of Niger State, Babangida Aliyu. Let's hear him now. Fellow Nigerians, we are in Lagos to debunk the allegation that the 16 years of PDP is a West. It is indeed the foundation of our democracy. We have never had this long period of democratic experiment and experience. And we believe that from now onwards that we will develop and we will not be thinking of any military intervention as others in the opposition are doing. Somebody, I woke up this morning and one of the liars of the APC party, a governor in southeastern state, said that seven governors were in Lagos to negotiate to join APC. Many of you who knew about the history of G7 understand what happened. We were in G7 to correct what at that time we understood to be some anomalies in the process and the procedure of the party. We were not there to create a situation of defection. But we understand that some of us had their personal ambition and were looking for reasons to defect. And those of us who were genuinely for the correction of those anomalies stayed in PDP. And I don't see any reason now that I will even go through the back door when I had a chance to go through the front door. That is the propaganda that has taken over Nigeria. And unfortunately, the propagandist begins to believe his own propaganda. And that is why we were very happy when these elections were shifted. Because if the elections were held on the 14th of February, believe me the tension then, whoever was announced or whichever party was announced, we will have faced a lot of problems. But I believe now the tensions have been doused, people's eyes have shined and opened and can see that the party or the main people who adopted Buhari on that their primary days did that to extend their looting, their stealing of public property into the nation. They have done it in the state and now they want to transfer it to the whole country. Because when they went for that primary, the candidate that they had in mind was different from what transpired. Wallahi, I was speaking to one of the presidential candidates, and he told me that the bullion vans that came that night to distribute money to produce Buhari because he promised them that he was going to do only one term, that would be shortchanging the North knowing our rotation as we have it in our arrangement. Because you will not, if he serves one term, he will have no authority to say that it must be another northern side. They know that even Buhari at a younger age could not be a hands-on administrator, had to delegate and leave everything to the subordinate. We saw that during the 84-85. We saw that during PTF at a younger age. What happens now? So these characters thought that they will be the main administrators when Buhari takes over. We need for people to appreciate this. It's not about sentiment, it's not about religion, it's not about tribe, it's not about region. This election, 2015, is about the future of Nigeria, about the unity of Nigeria, and we must appreciate this. We must send this to all our uncles, our brothers, so that they can appreciate what they are going to do when they are going to vote on that day. PDP has the experience, the institutionalization, and the spread to be able to hold Nigeria together 
than simply an experiment by some few looters. That all of us, anybody who has ever held any position, should come and tell us what he had be between 1999 to date. Prior to 99, some, even the suit they were wearing, we could see the thread already there. And now they own everywhere. And the states that we thought were richer, in fact, if you go down and look at the arithmetic, some states were indebted to the tune of 600 billion naira. Tell the children of that state when they are going to pay such amount of money. Every day it means you must pay something. Some state has already having problems. Why? Because of the little bond that they have taken. By the time deductions are taken and they were given the money, they can't even pay salaries. And we want to lie and we want to depend on propaganda? No, we should not. Sustainers of democratic values cannot depend on brazen stealing, on greedy people, and on people who think that they will buy anybody for electoral purposes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And the Chief Servant, Chairman, Northern Governors Forum. Let's quickly take from Jigawa State, Alaji Sule Lamida. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our Chairman, PDP Governors Forum. And the chairman, or the other half of the governors, <laughs> my good friend, I am now non aligned. I may be talking to us you these days. Let me, before I make a comment, say three things. When we came in, the chairman said we should have five women's silence in honor of those who fought for democracy. That was under Abacha. There are also those who led the new founding of democracy in 1998. And there are nine of them. Four of them are dead. Bola Ige, Senator Ella, Sonumbala, and uh, Awakari, my brother. The others who are surviving are Adam Chiroma, Jerry Gana, Yuchi Ayu. The only one standing publicly now is Sul Lamilo. So, our respect goes to those who died for democracy and appreciation for those who are watching how Nigeria is evolving. Now, because I'm from the old generation. And what you have here is the younger generation. Anybody who was under 50 years old was only 15 years old in 1983. Anybody who is under 50 years. Anybody who is under 40 years here was only 18 years old or 55 in 1983. So that this disconnect between the old values the traditions, and they are doing things from today's, what they call ICTH. So I can understand the hysteria and the propaganda in fine history. If you look up here, what you see are people who are organic information politically, who have history who are blending, and you can see their faces, they relate very, very well. Go to any APC meeting and look at Amechi. What is in common with Buhari? And look at maybe Wamako and see what PDB did to him in saving him. How does he feel with APC? With Tunibu? who was trying to take away his governorship 
at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the at the elections at the tribunal and so APC I've been saying is a contraption it's a formation of hate of anger of frustration of envy and malice I know in this hall we are divided there are some who have sympathy for APC that's your own problem it's not mine. I stand for my own party. Because the PDP has a history. When we formed the PDP in 1998, we reflected. And so what Nigeria went through after Buhari took over in 1983. The June 12th crisis. The Abacha government. The human rights abuse. And I begin to wonder, and I mean no offense. I mean no offense. Under a butcher, Buhari was watching. High profile murders were taking place. He never said anything. Kudu was killed. Rewani was killed. There are bombs in Ilorin, a stadium. There also a bomb in Enugu. He never said a word about security. He was also watching the susceptible loot of a treasury under corruption. He didn't say a word. I begin to wonder, when you mouth this slogan that you know, security and corruption, how would you approach it? How do you deal with it? Right now, in tribunals, there are APC leaders in our courts who are on bail. How would they see deal with them? I know them. You all know them. Anybody who was PDP, the very party they abuse, they malign, they say it's a party of rigors, a party of thieves, a part of everything evil, those characters they are all in APC. In the north, where I come from, all the candidates for the governorship election in the entire north, northern part of the country are all former PDP governors or senators or ambassadors or whatever. Our own invention. Whatever might have been our imperfection, because they say there's no open democracy or transparency. When they were benefiting from that, when we were making them, others were crushed for them to imagine. They, they never complained. They enjoyed, they enjoyed it. But today, because they have lost out, Because where I come from, treachery is a very, very serious crime. No matter how bad your father is, you don't renounce him. The candidate that they had in mind was different from what transpired. Wallahi, I was speaking to one of the presidential candidates. And he told me that the bullion vans that came that night to distribute money to produce Buhari because he promised them that he was going to do only one term. That will be shortchanging the North knowing our rotation as we have it in our arrangement. Because he will not, if he serves one term, he will have no authority to say that it must be another Northerner that will. Like the chairman said, they know that even Buhari at a younger age, could not be a hands-on administrator, had to delegate and leave everything to the subordinates. We saw that during the 84-85, we saw that during PTF, at a younger age, what happens now? So these characters thought that they would be the main administrators when Buhari takes over. We need for people to appreciate this. It's not about sentiment, it's not about religion, it's not about tribe, it's not about region. This election, 2015, is about the future of Nigeria, about the unity of Nigeria, and we must appreciate this. We must send this to all our uncles, our brothers, so that they can appreciate what they are going to do when they are going to vote on that day. PDP has the experience, the institutionalization, and the spread 
to be able to hold Nigeria together than simply an experiment by some few looters. That all of us, anybody who has ever held any position, should come and tell us what he had be between 1999 to date. Prior to 99, some, even the suit they were wearing, we could see the thread already there. And now they own everywhere. And the states that we thought were richer, in fact, if you go down and look at the arithmetic, some states were indebted to the tune of 600 billion naira. Tell the children of that state when they are going to pay such amount of money. Every day it means you must pay something. Some state has already having problems. Why? Because of the little bond that they have taken. By the time deductions are taken and they were given the money, they can't even pay salaries. And we want to lie and we want to depend on propaganda? No, we should not. Sustainers of democratic values cannot depend on present stealing, on greedy people, and on people who think that they will buy anybody for electoral purposes. Thank you very much. Thank you very, Thank you very much.